Now Arneal across right point, a one-timer, they score. From the right point, David Warsofsky. Buck knocked in front, St. Laurent in the middle of a jam. It's thrown on goal, they score! Jeremy Colladin coming back from the break, able to rifle it through. St. Laurent, who was in a lot of trouble in front of his net. And for the captain, that's his 10th goal of the season. The Sound Tigers have tied it up with 13.23 to go here in the first period. Coming after Bonner, Chuck, who's able to get it ahead of Ritter while forearm shoved by Haley, knocks him down. You see left side to the point. Button swings it right boards. Now to McGeever, takes a hard shove. Meanwhile, we may see a fight. Oh, the gloves have dropped. And it is Michael Haley and Nathan McGeever. They fought back in Bridgeport a little over a week ago. And McGeever goes down. Haley connecting on a number of shots. Oh, he's fired up, Michael Haley. Along with Nathan McGeever will go to the penalty box. Five minutes each for fighting, but it was Haley with the upper hand in that one. Wishart back to DeHaan, moving to his left. DeHaan still puck handling against McKinnon. Now a point shot, they score! Howes was in the low slot. The puck changed direction. It might have hit off a Howes' skate or stick and then got through the pads of St. Laurent. And the Sound Tigers now lead on the power play. Goal from Scott Howes. It's 2-1 to one Bridgeport. Neely. Bodner Chuck now racing up the middle to the right side with it. Craig Cunningham from the point. Fires one. Oh, he was crushed. A punishing hit by Sinkwich. Nearly in the corner. Sharp angle try off the mark. Off the board's right side. Oleksi moves it down. Rakshani to Colladin. In the slot. He rips it home and scores. Jeremy Colladin. 42 seconds in with his second goal of the game. And the Sound Tigers lead it 3-1. to one. He had just missed. Now Warsawski with a right point. From the blue line to Arneal, cross ice pass, Sobe, thrown in front, quick pass across, shot, score. A little tic-tac-toe leads to Craig Cunningham at the doorstep. Knocking it through for Cunningham, his 15th of the season, and it's a one-goal game early in the second period. Oh, no, he is stripped by Sobe. Now Molrat pokes it in over the line against Bonderchuk. Far wing corner, Molrat there, working around the net. Backhand pass in front to Haley, he fires and scores! Oh, what a backhand pass by Mulrad in front. He finds Haley, rifles in top corner, and the Sound Tigers are back on top by two. Poked aside by St. Laurenti. Bruins able to pass ahead and kept alive in a steal. Marcinko, right circle to Riley. He fires and scores. Now the four check comes through for the Sound Tigers. Blair Riley from the right wing circle. Same spot where Colladin scored earlier in the period and he was able to rifle a shot that got through St. Laurent. Uh, right off the draw, the Providence Bruins get a quick shot on goal and score on the power play with Alexi in the box for tripping. It was Warsofsky. Denied crashing the goal was Sauvé on a brilliant save by Poulin, who's a little slow getting up and down from the wing. A shot by Cunningham and Poulin tucks it in and now we have a big scrum in front as Kevin Poulin right in the middle of things. Meanwhile, Maxime Sauvé has a Sound Tiger pinned in the back of the net. And it looks like, I think that might be Kale Mulrat. It was Colladin, gives it to DeHaan in the Bridgeport zone. And now to Ty Wisher, who fires it up the middle. On the tape on side to Riley, right circle shuts in. Rebound, Riley, wraparound, try all that went through the blue paint. He could have buried it. Somehow, Corshane got a break there. Brings it up ice, top of the circle, across at a left point. Here's Dahan winding and holding down the boards. Romano in the slot. What a touch! Score! Michael Haley from the hash marks rips home his second of the game. And the Sound Tigers are two for two on the power play. They lead it six to three. Just some nice tic tac toe passing. Romano found Haley unscathed in the hash marks straight on. Just rifled it by Adam Corshane. The Sound Tigers control now tied up Sauvé in front. Try to stuff it in the far post and Poulin sprawling out able to hang on. And Alexi will give it over to Ryan Button of the Bruins. Button will lob it in. Their team defeated. The Sound Tigers will get back in the win column here as Alexi pushing and shoving a bit with Button as time runs out. Regulation is over and the Sound Tigers win by a final score of 6-3. to three, Setting back the Providence Bruins for a fifth consecutive loss.